How are you doing? I want to talk about an issue that might affect some of you if you're using Kinsta and Elementor or not at all. So you can completely skip this video if you're completely happy. I had a client and they were using Kinsta hosting and they had an Elementor website. And they had that kind of issue where you get told server error, 500 error, which usually means that you have exceeded the PHP memory limit. Now, going in to check their website, I then realized their limit was 256 and they were using Kinsta hosting. And you would normally see this as an easy problem to fix. You go back to your hosting provider and you increase it from 256 to 512 megabytes. I will let you know though, SiteGround actually have it at 768 as default, which is pretty damn cool. Now I went and contacted Kinsta and you are not gonna believe what they told me. Every single one of their plans is restricted to 256. And so you can see the pricing here. And if you wanna go up to 512, and you can't go above 512, by the way, unless you go and get a specialist private server with them. You got to go on the enterprise plan. So what they're basically saying is that any one of these plans here from starter to business four, and I have got evidence of this in a detailed live chat, which I'm not going to share. So I did kind of call them out on this. They will restrict you to 256 megabyte. So if you're using Elementor and you've got Kinsta and you get that server error 500 and you want to go to 512, you're probably gonna struggle because they totally lock you down to 256. Now I called them out on this. I basically said, where does it state anywhere on here that you are restricted to 256? And they admitted it does not state it and they only let you know when you ask them about it, basically when you have an issue. So I'm saying if you've got Kinsta and you're restricted at 256, unless you're gonna go into cPanel or you know SFTP, SF, whatever, which is not fair, by the way, because some people, some users are either not comfortable with that or don't know how to do it. Then they have to go and employ someone. Then they might go and install a file manager plugin or something like that. And there are potential risks going on there. And I would always say if your host provider can't back you up and boost you up to 512, I'd be running away from them. And I'm not saying there's anything majorly wrong with Kinsta, but I think this issue with the PHP limit and how they're locking you down to 256, that is a bad move by them. Now, if you do have that problem, something you could do is go and install a plugin like WP Sweep. Go and run that to get rid of some transient and revisions. Normally in WordPress, Elemental, lots of page builders out there, the number of revisions can be a problem because you could have a website that's got like 400 revisions. You don't necessarily see them, but every time it loads up that page, they're all loading up in the back end. And I'm not talking about the history when you're working on a page. No, I'm talking about revision versions of that page that could go back months and months. So WP Sweep to clear that up. And normally you can get away with 256. Normally, but I would always recommend 512 as a minimum just to play safe. And if you're with SiteGround, you'll be covered at 768. I'm in Run Web Squadron. That was just a bit of a mini rant, right? I'd love to know what your comments or views are on this. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that.